In this part of our Flow Quick Start video series, you'll see how easy it is to prevent the spread of malware on desktops using Nutanix AHV and Flow. Flow security policies protect desktop VMs from each other, even if they're inside the same network or running on top of the same hypervisor host. There are three main ways to place a desktop into a security policy that will allow for simple east-west traffic blocking. In the first method, we use identity-based security and VDI policies to automatically secure VMs based on the AD group of the logged in user. Second, we can manually categorize VMs and use an application security policy if Active Directory groups aren't available or desired. Third, if you're using Frame, you can auto-categorize VMs at creation time and protect them with an application policy. Regardless of which option you choose, you'll use an intra-tier block to stop the spread of east-west traffic between desktops. This is similar to an isolated private VLAN, where endpoints can talk externally, but not to each other. With Flow application security policies, the isolated private VLAN is created using an app tier category. Desktops in this app tier can have inbound and outbound connectivity, but no connectivity with each other. Let's look at each of these three methods with example desktops. The first method for protecting desktops is to use the VDI identity-based security policy, which integrates with Active Directory. So we program an Active Directory account and server into Prism Central, and then configure a number of domain controllers that we get login notification events from. And now, after we have configured those servers, we map the desired Active Directory groups, such as marketing, sales, engineering, and HR, to categories in Prism Central. And these categories are used by the security policy. So if we look at our security policies, there is now a VDI security policy, and there can be only one single VDI policy. And we have all of those Active Directory groups mapped here to these categories, which are tiers of the policy. We can choose the VMs to include in our security policy by using this matching name string. So all the VMs named Windows 10 in the VM name, we can choose to include them in a default policy, and we can choose to keep that default policy even after someone logs in. So these seven VMs here in AD group default will have access from the VPN pool and from Active Directory, as well, to, uh, as well as also to Active Directory. When Prism Central detects that a sales user logs into a VM, it'll have this AD group sales category applied to it, or engineering or HR, depending on the group of the logged in user. To prevent the spread of malware, we block the sales VMs from talking to each other. So even VMs inside the same AD group will be blocked from communicating with one another, as well as block communication between groups. The second method for protecting desktops is to use a manual application security policy. We would use this if for some reason we didn't have access to Active Directory or didn't want to use Active Directory groups. You can see that we use the same sort of structure where we block communication within a tier and we still allow communication in from VPN pools and Active Directory, except now we're using app type and app tier categories instead of AD group categories. And these categories are applied to the virtual machines. So here, this VM, Eng01, is a desktop virtual machine that's part of engineering. So if we look at that virtual machine, we see that it has a number of categories applied to it. So the manual applied categories of application type department and application tier engineering are what makes that an engineering VM. And if we wanted to make it a sales virtual machine, we would just change the app tier category manually, and then it would be part of the sales group. Inside of our security policy, we can see that change reflected because now there's a sales virtual machine instead of engineering. The third method of protecting desktops uses manual application policies 
but frame auto categorization. Here we have a number of frame desktops that have been protected by a category called app type frame account and app tiers of the various tiers of types of frame desktops. So we have our sandbox, utility, and production frame desktops. So this combination of categories allows us to protect the individual VMs that make up the frame instance. So here we have a few production frame virtual machines and uh, we can look at the security policy in more detail and see that for those production VMs, we can stop frame production VMs from talking to each other using that same policy construct. If we save this policy, we can go look at those virtual machines that are provisioned by frame, and right when the VM is created, these categories are automatically applied. So as long as that security policy exists, the application type of the frame account and the application tier of production, these VMs will be protected as soon as they're turned on. Nutanix Flow helps you stop the spread of malware between desktops, whether you're using Citrix or Frame. And it even allows you to apply dynamic security policies to the desktops based on the Active Directory group of the logged in users. To find out more detail, like the Active Directory configuration used in this example, visit the Flow documentation linked in the description. Thanks for watching.